Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the third phase of Myasis 1 that is Anaphase 1. Before this, we have talked about the Prophase 1 in which we have seen that chromatin network type of DNA got condensed to form proper chromosomal like structure. We have also seen the pairing of the homologous chromosomes. After that, it was followed by the phase known as Metaphase 1 where we have seen and the homologous pairs gets aligned at the equatorial position or the central position of the cell. After metaphase 1, it is followed by the phase known as anaphase 1. In anaphase 1, the separation of the homologous chromosomes happen. As you can see over here, the homologous chromosome starts getting separated. The chromosomes start moving towards the opposite poles. As you can see over this in this picture, why this happens? Because initially, the chromosomes were attached at the centromere position by the spindle fibers. Now due to, the, uh, due to the process of depolymerization of these spindle fibers, what happens? They start pulling these chromosomes towards the opposite poles, hence they get separated. So the initially the tetrad which was present that is 4 sister chromatids now gets converted to 2 dyads because this has been separated. The reduction in chromosome number. So because of this separation what happens? The paternal chromosomes get onto one side and the maternal chromosomes get onto the other side. So, the chromosomes gets reduced in number. So, initially if it was 2n, it gets n. It actually results in the formation of disjunction. Disjunction is uh, the same uh, name terminology given to the phenomena of uh, being separation of the homologous chromosomes. So, that is known as disjunction. The separating of the chromosomes may be like rod shaped, J shaped or V shaped. The shape of the chromosome is absolutely dependent on the position of the centromere which in the chromosome. If suppose the position of the centromere is at the tip of the chromosome, then the shape of during the separation will be like rod shape. If it is at the mid position of the chromosome, the shape of separation will be like V shape. And uh, accordingly, the shapes get changed on the basis of the presence of the centromere in the chromosome. So in this video, we have talked about the third phase of myasis 1 which is anaphase 1 and here we have seen that the homologous chromosomes get separated due to the pulling action of the spindle fibers from the opposite poles. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.